if you use your existing account, I, I presumably the bill, or maybe you have other things that are the bill. Like let's assume you have worked with them before, so you must have passed the free threshold. So that means if you go back there and you create a server, they will likely charge you immediately. But if you create a new AWS account, they would usually let you run for the space of a month. Now that's that is aside the um free credits they would give you, right? Now the aim is to run this computer. So just where your laptop is right now. We're going to have like lots of virtual computers like that. And I will show you how to um strategically configure them. So let's start with what you did for instance. Let me see your own innings, the ones you made again with OKEGBOT. Okay, okay. Okay, now this was what you made with OKEGBOT. Okay, you had ads limits because you pushed your lock the other day. Yeah. Okay. Now for the last seven days you've been able to make a thousand views and um how many impressions again five points okay put a cursor on where it says impression okay five four five thousand four hundred um okay that's that's almost five thousand five hundred impressions over a thousand years so I, I will start with explaining exactly how to use okay bots to inflate the right path so i don't think i've been able to do this with anybody my tutorials are usually in a hurry so i presume since we have like the nights we would make this a proper tutorial so after now you will be more confident to do this thing the right way now let us start with okay. your performance so far so um where it says last seven days change that to yesterday So yesterday you did 168 views. Okay, I'd like to see how much you earned. So on where it says sites, change last seven days to, no, not there, down, yes. Last seven days to yesterday. Okay, so how much did you earn yesterday again? 5.63 euros. Okay, so you earned 5.63 euros yesterday. Okay. I can see you had a total of 168 views and you had 948 impressions. So let me give you a quick walkthrough. Impressions actually increase when you jump from one page to the other or when you come back again to a particular site. So let's assume you created the bots, you made that bot to open your website and then they come back again and come back again and come back again. So the more they keep on returning, the more you keep on gaining impressions it simply means for whatever yeah. reason this person is a returning user so it means you have a stronger impression now you can increase impression from clicking links so that means if you make if you create a task where okay but to open up your website then click a link then enter another link then enter another link now the more you keep doing this the more one view just one page visits can link up to like six to seven clicks which would always end up building your impressions now in order to achieve this you want to achieve this within once within 10 seconds or 15 seconds you have to achieve this within a huge number of time so we're talking about like six to seven minutes like a typical human being would spend going through your site and trying to navigate all the beautiful content around it now you see why i said you will need a vps because if you have to keep your computer where one particular task takes up to seven minutes to run. It means if you have to generate thousands of views in a day, you will likely not be able to do it because you have a limited number of browsers your computer can run. So as not to overload it. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna spread the work. But before we spread the work, we'll first have a concept of what we're doing. So this is why I'm trying to look at your current page views and your current impression. So I can have an idea of what I would want to work around now you have been paid before and what was your last payment 73 euros 73 euros okay let me zoom out so i can see this okay 73 euros over there okay i would want us to start with where we call reports so just by the left side of the, the dashboard the sidebar mm -hmm. you would see a report yes click on it 
so this basically tells us i mean what part of your page is doing very well so why is information important why loading it's because you would want to be able to keep a seamless life cycle if you had some couple of page that were really performing very well it is always best to drive traffic to those same pages so could you like show me the ranking page over there by clicking on where it says top pages good okay now let's scroll down a bit now i can see from the domain which is the landing page i can see estimated earnings to be 35 pounds is that correct yes okay so this are the five pounds you generated it's yourself using okay bots yes how many ips were you using to like the general number of ips used i had three but i was using just two okay so actively you drove from two ip addresses and you were able to generate 35 pounds yes okay now this is what you're going to do you're going to give me a, a quick walkthrough how much do you spend in acquiring those ips um 15 dollars okay 15 dollars was it for the entire ip addresses okay you're already here it was it was five five dollars for 30 days no okay so now let's say you've gotten your return on investment already with only one exception you've gotten the money spent on ip addresses however you're yet to regain the money spent on internet data because you're obviously driving this traffic with your computer which means you spent money on internet data now th that is where that aws comes in it's going to be shielding that because apart from the fact it's actually a computer you use the internet is uncapped it's unlimited and it's very fast okay so this is what we're going to do we're going to assume we have could you please pop up your calculator on your computer Okay, beautiful. Now let us assume you had a total of a total of one sixty eight views. Was that what you you were able to drive? Could you please head back to your AdSense dashboard? I'm trying to know your your previous calculation. Let's go back to home. Yes, to home. One sixty eight views for yesterday. Like okay. I said, I was being moderate yesterday. Okay, so when you had this ad limits, which day was the day you you went out of proportion? It was the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday. Yes. Okay. Is it possible to? I think we can't really see a day before yesterday, or we could do that on the reports. Click on the reports. Okay, so on the... gone, I guess. Yes, correct. Then today is Friday, so it was Wednesday. Yes. Apply. So, so supposed to be on the fourth. Yes. Yes, this is it. Okay. So on that day you made how much specifically? Twenty six euros. Okay. Now how many views? Let me zoom out a bit. How many views and how 400, many? Um, 439 page views. Okay. Impressions? 2,435. Uh, I can see you had 
that if you uh, if you, you had 52 clicks yes oh that was quite a very high click through it yes oh, okay yeah. so now from what i can see over here you had less than a thousand shoes and you made 26 okay. pounds this means your cpc is quite high and then i actually presume that's because of your niche and because of the high um tier location you're coming from so this is what we're going to do in order to be able to continue this in a very safe and seamless manner so the first thing we're going to do we're going to generate lots of shoes now to do this we're going to create task that would open up um different part of your site so i would want us to be a bit practical with the whole step um what yeah. current plan are you on on okay what i'm still on the free plan oh so the, the whole money of me so far the entire how much is that again um oh, 40 dollars so and um, 40 euros so far okay so this has been with plan. a free version of okay but yeah Okay, so we're going to be going to the pro version of OKBot. So I would want you to head over to OKBot itself. Now, we're going to first plan on what the um, deployment traffic, what the traffic deployment is going to be like. Um, before now, what locations have you been driving from? Which is where did you get your IP addresses? Um, I got from... So I noticed... Canada and US are showing me US. So I got one Canada, one US, and one UK. But I'm not using this UK. I'm even regretting buying it. Because when I open the box with this UK IP, it's always asking me to accept terms and conditions, cookies and all. So I have to always be active on the computer. But with um, the U uh, U.S. and Canada. If make I just accept terms and condition once, I'm, I don't ha I don't have any stress in it. Okay. So that's why I use just Canada and U.K. So this is the one I use actively, and I don't use this um, U.K. at all. Okay. Now you you you're currently fa facing what we call a board state issue. And um, if that issue wasn't wasn't a problem, um, you wouldn't have had to like have that consent from to every now and then. Okay, now we're supposed to build what we call a strategy, which is the first step of traffic deployment. Um, the longer you spend thinking of a strategy, the more you can make like your desired innings. Let's assume. The plan for this month of September is to make 5,000 euros, right? So now how do we make 5,000 yeah. euros? Now, we could have an estimate of we would want to be making around 30 k views daily and 100 k views impressions daily. So how do we get that? Now this is where you start to having a full planning board. Now the three major things you want to do. The first one, you want to open up the website and click on that links. This is to increase both page views and impressions, but more specifically to look more unique. As when a bot or a browser keeps, or when if a website has an unusual activity where pages are being opened and not being redirected to other pages, bot detection systems is usually flag. So that means if Google AdSense, which is the code on your page, notices a very huge bounce rate where users or visitors will come in they don't you know branch to other places they only spend you know time at you know a specific location or maybe there's a constant pattern a constant pattern means they come in here then they do this and then they do this after a while you may get into what we call ads limits so in order to save us from getting that ads limit you're not going to be clicking experts when you click on expert, expert is a bit more visited. Expert is saying, I want to go to this specific button. I want to click on this specific thing. Now, why this might work? Because, I mean, people use it on the primary pro and it actually works um, fine. But in order to beat the detection system specifically, 
you have to use what we call click similar link so let me show you how that works choose over to the secondary pro okay now put in your websites on the primary action where it says primary action yes that's called an entry point on your website okay okay so now paste it there now next put in the time you would want to spend on the website i usually do 100 to 120 because i build impressions myself by clicking different places on the website oh okay like you said you use the free one so you haven't unlocked those capacities to be entering other pages so you actually do the pages yourself yeah okay so now we're going to be using the secondary pro so the best part of what a secondary pro does is that impression you have to build yourself manually it now works automatically so let me show you how it works so now for the sake of this tutorial you could go back to edit the time i presume we already know how to fix the time so the time is a list of our worries so you, you, you're just going to put in three to five seconds this is so I can easily show you how it can click on some other link. You can go back later to change it 3 to 5 seconds to 100, 120 if that suits you. Okay, good. Um, Let's give this one a name. Now, this is where you would actually start understanding the advanced features of Okay But before that, please hold on. Let me zoom in. Oh, I think I have blur issues. okay so we are here now um let's proceed from here so now the task um this refers to what we would want to call this so we can call this um let's call this three step in so i give it the name three step in it's because when we open up the website which is toroso.com we're going to click on three other links like we we'll click on three other links now um, what links do, do we want to click on simple we want to click other to Russo related link so copy up your where it says url the top side where it is yes, co just copy that good okay now now click on um, secondary action Now where it says click experts, change that to click similar link. Paste the link there. Okay, now give it like um three to five seconds just for the sake of tutorial again. No three to five, not thirty to five to fifty. Oh, okay. Yes, we're, we're hastening it yeah. up so we could just uh, see it practically. Yeah. Now there is a green icon at the top yes click on it now um click on the middle one again yes good now put in your website again good now three to five seconds okay the green icon again now that middle again I repeat it for the last time. Now the plus icon. Good. Now let me explain what we just did over here because this is the most fundamental part. You're going to run this now to see for yourself. And you're going to see how it actually like does the whole thing automatically. So a very quick walkthrough on what we did. The way the OK bot is, it has what we call a primary action. The primary action or the or the primary action of a, of a specific task is just basically what websites are we visiting. Now, click on where it says primary action. Just at the top. You can, Yes, perfect. Now, the primary action is actually saying we should visit toruso.com. Please remove that 30 and 50. Change it to 3 to 5. Yeah. Yes. 
three to five. Okay. Ten to five. No, three to five. Oh, three to five. Yes. Okay. You can go back later and do it. Okay, now, so we're actually saying that we want to create a task. So this task is basically anything you want to automate on the page. But what page are we automating all this task on? Okay, the page we're going to be automating this task on is called toroso.com. So on the primary task, we've put in the URL that we're heading over to toroso.com. Now, the place it says time is how many seconds do we want to wait on toroso.com before we can actually start doing other secondary actions? What are the secondary actions? Okay. Secondary actions are things like, okay, after I've spent like three to five seconds on toroso.com, I want to click on this expert. I want to click on this link. I want to click on this button. You know, all, all that. So, and, uh, and then we have a task name where we give it a task name so why do we give this a task name is because there will be a point when you have lots of tasks one task can yeah. be visit youtube or um, watch insurance on youtube now that task the primary action will be to open youtube.com the secondary could be like type on the search in or the set on the search box search for something around insurance from a keyword click on a random video from the insurance <coughs> watch the video head yes, back sir. to head back to youtube again click another thing search for insurance so basically the tax name just helps you to be able to name the specific task so you'll be able to know what it does and you'll be able to like state how many times you want to do it for instance now you've you've been doing all the ads clicking yourself all right but now yes i have if i wanted this now thing to actually click on ads again i can say three step in then um just enter inside the place where it says task name <coughs> no no not that one the down one mm -hmm. and give it a space and then type and click and then give it a space click ads now this is just a description this is just a description to say oh this thing is going to go three step in after it gets to roso.com, it will click on a link, it will click again, it will click again, which is like three times, and then it will click on an ad. Now, you can configure all these things right now on this particular task. Then you add it to the chain, you create another mm -hmm. one. That one, might, that one might be five step in, no ads click. And that one might not be mm -hmm. one step in, ads click. Now, the aim is to have different, different scenarios that would happen when a user comes to your site. And then you just have all of them in different tasks, along with other things outside your site. Like, you know, okay, let's be more practical. Okay, now, we wouldn't do ads click immediately. All right, so, just delete where it says an ad click and leave only three step in. Good. Now click on the secondary action. Okay, so now I want us to see the history. So click on that green, that one that looks green at the middle. Beautiful. So now this is the history. What this means is that after the primary action has been executed, now there will be some steps of the secondary actions that, that should be executed. Now you could make this to be click a button, which is click experts type into an egg and input which is type into maybe a search box click on the button search button which is like click experts uh, you, you assume to be on a new page maybe you have just filled in your login details you know you can keep on doing it as the time proceeds so what i would do is i would teach you how to just click on similar links now the second time we're going to come here and type into the search box so you don't have to just make you understand what i'm doing you've already added three similar links so now it's time to use that red button that says add to executable list yes yes now this is now the main executable list what is an executable list an executable list is just a list of tasks to be done each task can contain the primary action and the secondary action at the top is the primary action, visit toroso.com, spend 3 to 5 minutes. At the bottom is the secondary action, which means click a similar link, then click another one, then click another one. So practically, this whole thing is a task. By the side of it, where you see a pencil, you see one. 
so that means on the on the executable list that thing is called task one now we can add up another task and another task and another task which would be what we would do because by the time you understand all these things when you go back again you'll be making you 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 make over 500 dollars a day the difference is you won't get any form of suspension or limit anymore because i'll teach you how to do it the right way so now let's head back so what you do now is you have to save so click on save as executable list okay yes you can give this a name let's just call this um three in right oh no oh no let's call this practice because we're going to edit it again and we'll add more features and more features okay and then click on save okay okay so okay now it's saying you no he's saying you can't do that because oh, three guess, no don't worry she stay there the no she said that when you're on secondary pro you have extra limits so i mean that is part of um the marketing strategy and all that let me increase your um let me increase your access so if i take you up now on on the if i take you right now on the pro you should be able to like have on the on the secondary pro you should be able to have more than i don't know i think it's on the website but i think it's up to um well, help me okay yeah no help me open the page the okekbo.com then click on pricing let me zoom out pricing yeah click on creator mode where it is by now okay scroll down to secondary pro now click on bot limitation 1000 bots task um tax but more yes okay this is it which is executable so now you can only do um three but well, once i give you an upgrade you'll be able to do up to 30 okay. which is like basically times 10 of what you can do so you have to send me your api key um send it to me on whatsapp you could just paste it but wait hold on hold on let me pause this video before you get there okay i've given you access so head back to the app again and try to save it just the same way you were doing it before it should let you in now okay okay perfect okay. yes okay so now we would have to test this in real time so head back to where you do your launch as though you want to launch for free and then give it that task you just created that's fine uh -huh. yes it's fine for test purposes Always. Oh, I hope the network is fast enough. What's the saying? Link not accessible. That only happens when you have issues with your proxy. Okay, so what you do, when you head back to the OK board, stop the bot system on the location, put it back to the fourth location. Okay. Yes, I can try it again. Okay, so now you notice it's no longer red. So when it goes red and says think not accessible, 
which part of the time is um, pressing okay now leave it let it show you the autopilot so now you've given it a similar link you said visit to russo spend three to five seconds then click on a link now i think where we're going to have issues is it could keep it, it could keep on clicking on the home page again and again or it could just okay i think this time around it went to another did it go to another page let me see no we're still on toroso.com I'm still with you. It stays three to this five seconds. Clicked. And then it clicks on something. So now what it clicks yeah, on is it, yes, what it clicks on is anything that has that beginning link. So if the beginning of the part the A tag, which is the beginning of the link has HTTPS, whatever you set there as that thing when you set click similar link, that is what it to click on. So if, if you wanted it to click on contact us where it says um, similar link, you'd have just changed it to contact us or about us or whichever. But when you don't put any contact us, you don't put about us. Okay, I think you clicked on something beautiful now. You can see it on the next page. Yeah. So now, if you don't put in like about us, contact us, you just put in your normal site, then you just click on the normal site. So majority of the times, you could still click on the home button again, which means it could refresh the page, which is not still you know, a problem because realistically people could open your site and after a while, they just click on the home page again and, you know, come back maybe as a result of refreshing your page. But more importantly, yeah. most times too, so, um, they click somewhere else. So the first one clicked on something around strengths. Let's watch the other page. Okay, so I think the other page practically acted like it's refreshed. So my guess is it's clicked on the home page again. So if it refreshes yes. again, if, if you feel like it has clicked on something again, which is when it acts like it's refreshing, if the page doesn't change, then maybe it has clicked on that, you know, HTTPS, um, Toroso.com again, because that is the link on that your button. What it does is it goes through the entire website. It looks for all the buttons that has a link with HTTP Toroso.com forward slash. Now the forward slash could be anything. Like you can see one is at meditation, mm. the other one is at strength. So practically, mm. if you keep running the bots, like now this is the second page, and the second page. Gone to strength too. Yes. So, so the second click. Yes. So now we 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 chained it three times on the secondary action. One, two, three. So it clicks the first one, click the second, and then click the third. So to the get completed. successful. Yes, this other one is supposed to have shown successful. Um, I mean, it's, yes, it's surprising why it has not, uh, completed. The, the mouse cursor has stopped moving. And the, mark, the mouse cursor stopped moving too. And then it didn't... Some of the bots used to... Act have that way. Some small glitch, yeah. You okay. just leave it for it to refresh, to get itself. Okay. Uh, do you have a VPN on? No, I don't. Okay. Let me switch it off so I don't get banned. <laughs> no, they're not clicking on ads. So you really have that issue. Oh, okay. Okay, so now... But uh, I have Winscribe. Okay. You have Winscribe. Like, was it active while we're making this video? No, it wasn't. Okay, you can close it. Because if it's con if it's actively connected to a VPN, the bot smart functions... That's because most times okay. when it sends signals, the VPN intercepts it and all that. So it's kind of affects it. Okay, so now we've done a video now on how to click similar links. So I would want to teach you yeah. just one more again. I think it's pretty late over, but I wanted to actually get something. So let's say you've gotten how to build impressions. Um, you still need to learn how to make search. So let's head back to toroso.com. Okay. Okay. Okay, now let's head back to the main site itself. I hardly open the site because I don't want any Google's problem. Nah, I don't know why people are always so scared. 
you know, to do to do the normal things. I mean, when you have a website, you don't check your website out yourself all the time, so it's not an issue. It's actually when you start clicking on ads or just keep refreshing too much. Okay, now you can see you have a top bar button here, which is a search. Yeah. Yes, we can actually type into this bar and search for anything. Using the OK bot, oh. you can create a task to type a particular thing you want to search for. Or you can use AI to just come up with something to just search for there. Now, but more more importantly, if the things you know, oh, our time is almost going to be hesitating. <laughs> okay, let's just do this tomorrow. Let me head back to work. Let's just do this tomorrow. Uh, what time will I really be available? It has to still be within this time from anything 11 p.m. Because, I mean, I sleep during the afternoon. So that's why no matter how we have an appointment in the afternoon, it's hard to keep up because I sleep during the afternoon. But at night I walk okay. to yes, daybreak. If not for the fact that I was actually working on some document I would have continued. But let's just get to see tomorrow and we can take off from where we stopped. Alright. Okay, I do have a nice day. Take care.